Hi, my name is Martin Ulick, and today I'll be presenting the topic of pirates in ancient Rome. So, the definition and origin of piracy, uh, as we know, piracy is uh, the act of looting a ship or port by sea, and it has had a long extensive history dating back to the mid-1300s BCE, uh, which was way back when the Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten ruled, the, ruled Egypt, and it went all the way into the Middle Ages, uh, 1500 CE, but it reached its peak in the Mediterranean around 66 to 67 BCE when uh, Rome finally put an end to them, just in the Mediterranean. So how they gained their power, uh, starting from the beginning, uh, it was the fall of Carthage that um, really set the stone for them to be, you know, gain some power in the Mediterranean. Uh, the fall of Carthage, it allowed them to gain power because there was not a strong naval presence anymore. So, you know, the pirates were allowed, they could just roam free, uh, undisturbed, which allowed them to become very organized. Uh, they also uh, created a home base, kind of. Uh, it's called Crete, which I'll show you on the map later. Um, this is, they had like a safe haven, basically, to retreat to if they were ever in trouble. But um, this also allowed them to gain power very quickly. With the increasing power of the pirate network, Rome began to be slightly affected, not um, so much they had to put a stop to it, but enough where, you know, there was noticeable things coming, uh, becoming an issue. Uh, one of those was imports and grains. They, uh, they were, some of those had shortages because of pirates, but they, you know, they never still really addressed the issue. They only sent out fleets when someone individually reported, uh, but they, it, you know, it still never really addressed the issue. So this is a map of the Mediterranean and during the year 281 CE. Um, this is close to the time when pirates were at their peak activity and power. And here on the map you can see Crete also became a haven for pirates, which is uh, circled here. Um, but, you know, you can see it's in the middle of the Mediterranean, so it was unable to... It was pretty far from any of the major powers to be, you know, affected from something like that. Um, so, another reason that pirates were able to gain so much power was due to the slave trade. Uh, the slave trade allowed them to gain lots of money to pay for the cost of their ships, such as cannons and sails. Uh, but what did not help Rome at all was that they were actually buying slaves from pirates. So Rome was essentially funding uh, their essentials for all their ships without even knowing, knowing it. Uh, excuse me. Um, Rome's economy was dependent on slaves, so they really need, they couldn't just stop buying slaves. Um, they used them as labor in plantations, and so eventually pirates became Rome's most consistent supplier in slaves. Rome had unknowingly at this point given them too much power, and they would now proceed by, the pirates would now proceed by plundering many of uh, modern day cities in Italy. And since the first plundering, it took them a hundred years, a whole century, until they finally took some real action. And uh, so by 102 BCE, uh, the Romans sent out Marcus Antonius, uh, equipped with a naval fleet, to destroy the pirates. And, um, but due to the pirates' strategic location again in Crete, they were just not able to completely destroy them. Uh, they would always just come back every now and then to, uh, you know, just pester uh, Rome. Uh, clearly, this was not enough to stop the Sicilian pirates, and more action needed to be taken. It, it wasn't until Pompey, which is this guy here, uh, decided to divide the Mediterranean into 13 individual sections, uh, which each had uh, its own fleet um, by keeping uh, by, with its own uh, commanding officer. Uh, by keeping watch on the sea at all times, each of these commanding officers, which cost a lot of money, obviously, uh, there was nowhere to hide for these pirates. They even invaded Crete. Um, it took a campaign for the uh, for them to finally stop the pirates. It took about uh, 90 days, and I think the numbers say they had 1,300 vessels destroyed. But uh, after this, uh, the pirates were no longer an issue. Uh, it was so so much of an issue at this point that since Pompey stepped in that it almost caused Rome to be in a famine 
as a result because they were you know taking all these grains and stuff shortages on ma a lot of these major imports but um ultimately rome did take control once again thank you for watching and listening